Tucked into this compact San Francisco venue is a 200 square foot tiny house. It's Intel's example of integrated technologies for our homes. What we're trying to show is how a connected home can bring a new user experience. Intel Vice President Rose Schooler says this tiny house is the next step in smart home technologies. Today in your current home you may have singular devices, maybe a smart thermostat, maybe a security system. In the future what we're trying to do is bring all those experiences together. The smartphone integrated lots of technologies that people can actually now just carry around in their pocket. This smart home is an example of lots of technologies that people will be able to live with. Inside this house, the thermostat knows when you're home and sets the temperature accordingly. The smart lights adjust to your favorite settings, and it knows when and when not to brew your morning coffee. And Marty Despain, the director of the, the Smart Home uh, Project, says it can even better. tell when there's a problem with the plumbing. Now, because of the API connections in the cloud, the ability to pull up a plumber, call the plumber, schedule an appointment, and have them come. And when the plumber arrives, the face recognition camera at the front door can tell the smart lock to let the plumber in even if you're not home. Getting all these technologies to communicate with one another through the cloud is still a challenge. And then there's the problem of hacking into this interconnected environment. Because there's inevitably going to be some type of attack or exposure. And the bottom line is how quickly can you respond? And that's why this home is an example of technologies that are still in development for the not-too-distant future. For The Street, I'm Sergio Quintana in San Francisco.